before I get started today, I wanted to drink a little beer and tell you a little story about the Ram Charger back there. So, if you haven't been following, which most likely if you're here, you have been following this project. Uh, this is a 1978 Dodge Ram Charger, full drive. It was a fleet truck for the University of Texas at Austin. Um, a gentleman named Terry bought this truck, and uh, I guess he drove it around for a long time. Uh, until perhaps it had a problem uh, and uh, he couldn't drive it anymore. Either that'd be the carburetor or something in the drivetrain or something. Uh, he parked it. Well, I'm not sure how Terry evolved to Paul, but I bought it from a guy named Paul, uh, who's a super, super nice guy, uh, who had a lot of uh, uh, plans for the, for the truck because uh, I think he even... If I remember right, he kind of wanted to turn it into a truck that looked like the ones uh, with Chuck Norris, and I forgot the movie, but anyway, uh, Paul was a really good guy. We went out there and we bought it from him, uh, and it was in really, really rough shape, and I'll, you know, if you look at these pictures here, you can tell that it had sat for quite a long time. Um, one thing that I can tell you is uh, Paul was a really, really nice guy, and he's been staying in contact, and and Paul, I owe you some pictures and stuff. I, I'm, I'm a little behind on that if you're still watching these videos. Um, but he got it from Terry. And Terry was a gentleman. Like I said, he drove the truck around for a long time. Um, and apparently, I didn't know this, but uh, Terry was sick. And uh, shortly before uh, he passed away, he got to see some of the videos of the Ram Charger running again. A little bit cleaned up and driving around. And... Uh, uh, I had told Paul I'd say something about it, and uh, I, looking back at my text messages, I totally forgot to do that, and I want to apologize, but uh, it's super cool to know that Terry got to see his pride and joy kind of back up and running and not, you know, just sitting anymore, and uh, I will say, um, this truck's been sitting for a long time, so there's some problems with it. But there's nothing really hokey. Uh, no one's gone in there and, and, and rigged anything. It's, it's uh, the, the problems I'm facing is just f uh, for the fact that it has sat for so long. Um, I've, you know, uh, endearingly named it Bevo uh, because of the University of Texas Austin background. And uh, anyway, I, I hope you guys are liking this project. I just felt like sharing this little story um, about Terry's old truck and uh and you know letting Paul know that I'm taking care of it as well so anyway um I'm gonna get to it here we're gonna go over the cooling system and stuff uh change all the hoses out and stuff like that but anyway it's in good hands it's and, and she, she's turning out to be a really really neat truck uh it's funny one of the cool things about doing this YouTube blogging and stuff like that is the fact that you're kind of uh documenting uh your vehicle and, and since I've had a lot going on with the racing the the drag and drive events and stuff like that I forgot how much work I've put into this thing and uh, it's kind of fun to go back and watch some of those videos and see it when it uh see it what was when we picked it up and where it's at now so uh, it's not perfect but it's it's a super cool ride and uh, anyway just want to share that story with y'all the best thing about some of these cars is they just have some awesome awesome stories so here's here's one for terry well hi how are y'all i'm uh pretty soaked with the uh, old nasty antifreeze because Finally got all the parts in to replace the hoses on this thing. The only thing I'm not going to replace right away are the heater hoses and the makeshift bypass that I've done. Um, but I got everything else. Well, I'll have to go get heater hoses eventually, but I want to get the motor cleaned out first. And I don't know if the heater element has got rust in it too. So until I figure all that out, I'm not going to deal with the heater hoses, um, but I got the little crossover hose we'll throw on here in a second. I just pulled the lower radiator hose off, um, and that's when I got wet, <laughs> of course. I mean, it's kind of part of the territory. 
Um, yeah, the truck is now running really, really well. Bevo has uh, stepped it up. Um, turns out that that carburetor well, I think I'm going to go on the record of some of these other YouTubers and uh, say that I've been having problems with my newer GoPro too. And uh, it seems to say the battery's dead when the battery shows 45%. So, I got interrupted there. <laughs> Bevo is running great. Um, I took it for a little test drive uh, the other day. Um, I was able to shift all three gears. Um, the clutch chatters, I think that has a lot to do with the rust that's probably all in the clutch. So it probably needs a clutch um, and it's real high and stuff. The brake booster is still leaking, it has a vacuum leak. So the brakes don't feel great, so I still gotta replace that. Um, but I want to get all the cooling stuff done so that's out of the way. And I got a cool adapter that's gonna go in between the uh, thermostat housing and the hose to where I can run that, uh, wherever it's at, the coolant temp sensor. So that's really neat that they make that. It wasn't cheap, but it's a good alternative instead of having to try to swap out our intake or something else like that. Somebody left a comment uh, like, why are you just doing with a two barrel? Get rid of that junk. But I just want to get this truck running. It's, it's not a hot rod. It's, it's not going to be fast. It's not doing crazy off-road stuff, and it's, you know, it's a survivor kind of truck. So there's really no reason to go scourge the internet for a four-barrel intake manifold if I can make this all stuff work, because we're not doing burnouts. We're not even really driving on the highway, you know? So this is gonna work just fine. And, uh, you know, I've got an opportunity coming up, so I might have to move this thing pretty quick. Um, so this was the path of least resistance to get it running well. Um, so that kind of parts out of the way. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, and uh, there's nothing wrong with a good Carter two barrel anyway. So anyway, let me get after it. Let me uh, change this stuff out and then I'll show you um, the uh, adapter I'm talking about. I also got a 160 degree thermostat and a new uh, thermostat housing. So. Let me get it all down to the part where I'm gonna flush it out and I'll, I'll show you guys that. all the hoses are off you know it's pretty simple undo the clamp pull the hose off uh, these are nasty I anticipated that so I'm gonna like use a wire brush and try to clean that up as much as possible um, I did buy another water net because I had a feeling this dude was gonna look like that which is really nasty um, and so yeah I'll get some of this stuff cleaned up and then I'm gonna flush it out by just putting a hose kind of in the top turning it on uh, i'll probably put the crossover pipe on first uh but yeah it needs to it needs to be flushed out as good as i can same thing with the radiator but it's parts time so let's look at the parts right okay so this is what i was talking about this is a made by autometer and it's a little t that goes in the upper uh, uh, radiator hose that's going to let us know what the temperature is so this thing's really really cool and i'll show you where we're gonna put that um and then i had to wait on some parts from rock auto upper radiator hose lower radiator hose and this is the um uh, i'm sure this is the housing of course you can't open it with one hand right let's see yeah there we go the only one that they had um, so it's a little different. Um, I do have a gasket for it though. It's also in there. 
And uh, the last couple things are in the truck, which I already got in the mail. And these should be pretty self-explanatory. Crossover tube. This dude is real hard to find. It must be on national back order. I don't know why. Um, I don't, oh, and then 160 degree thermostat. So got all that stuff together. This truck definitely needed this before it was ever going to be driven very far at all. Um, but you can see, look at these hoses. They are just, they're old. <laughs> I mean, old and ready to pop. Any kind of pressure was about to make that happen, especially on the bottom one, and the crossover tube. So I'm going to reuse a lot of the clamps because today's clamps are terrible. They strip out and they pull that that thing out so um you should still be good all right so let me get to work on pulling that housing off y'all wish me luck on that one all right two 19 16 bolts oh no that's gonna break son of a gun i know it's gonna break how about this one that one did not break. I'm gonna go get my torch and a six point wrench or socket for the other one. I'm glad this one came out. Uh, the other one's not gonna be near as fun. Gross. All right, PV blaster first. Let it uh, sit on there for a little while. And then I'm gonna use the old torchy torch before I try to get that dude off of there. All right, I let that PB blaster sit for exactly one beer. And uh, now I'm gonna heat it up down here as good as I can. Setting the gasket on fire. That's nice. threads are down here so that's why I'm coming down here with it all right I'm chained into a six point wrench to eliminate the possibility of rounding it off a lot easier gonna try to put some regular pressure on it oh yes oh yes oh yeah okay cool so far so good still very hard to move it but it's not so breaking off I got lucky on this one if I can get it out the rest of the way pays to take your time and uh, not rush things I got lucky I just got really really lucky oh yeah there it is nice and warm but it, it's out that could have been bad I really thought it was gonna be bad but today is saved fantastic note to sell if you hadn't bought one of these propane torches you need to get one they're not that expensive I've had this bottle here probably for two years too but I have another one on the backup but they save you in times like that well I'm to a stopping point now tomorrow I will uh, thread chase the thermostat housing and get that all cleaned up I need to find a couple new bolts or at least get these cleaned up and do some anti-seize on them or something uh, 
usually I put threads uh, RTV on the bolts for the uh, for the water neck because it prevents water getting down in there like that um, and then we'll throw all the hoses back on and we'll put that uh, spacer in place for the for the temperature probe and we'll get this thing running so maybe another day or two of work um, just got a lot going on in the evenings right now and uh, so I don't have as much time allocated to this as I'd like but sometimes you got to take care of some other stuff so anyway I'll see y'all uh, tomorrow well hello how are you I've been better probably looks like I've been better kind of got myself into a pickle here um, I got everything I needed for the hoses to do on the Ram charger so I started doing all that and then I realized wow this water pumps pretty corroded and uh, well while I'm in here let's go ahead and replace it all was good except one bolt and uh, well the head broke off that bolt so I'm fighting it right now the head of this bolt right here is no more and the water pump doesn't even want to come off of it which may be good bad thing don't mind the water here that's just because I set the truck on fire anyway um, let me move on and let's see if I can't get this stupid pump off this bolt man it don't want to move what is your problem man I hope it's rusted right here that means I can get that bolt out if that's the case but I got a bunch to figure out here so let me do that Hard to uh, hard to hammer when the when you don't have a chisel anymore. I don't know what else to do. Oh yeah. Okay. There we go. Oh no, it's not coming off. Huh? Well, I have hit an impasse and uh, well, great, we got the water pump off. There's a couple things here to show you. One, I don't think that's gonna flow any water. So, at least I have some reasoning behind pulling that water pump off. Two, that guy's not moving. I got him soaking with some PV blaster. But I'm out of tools. I've caught it on fire once today. That was fun. Uh I'm 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 just at a point where I can't do much more. So I've gotta go get a pipe wrench. I've also probably gonna have to pull the timing chain cover off of this thing. This truck is just fighting me all the way every time I crest the hill and get over something else and I gotta be honest it's not renewing my faith in being a Mopar guy because I used to be a Mopar guy 
I used to say these things are so simple to work on. And uh, uh, this thing's not simple to work on. <laughs> then again, it's been sitting for a long time in its own defense. And uh, I'm frustrated that nothing's really going my way. So there's not much I can do now, but like I said, let it sit. I'm going to buy a pipe wrench in the morning. I'm going to try to get this thing out. If it doesn't move, I'm going to have to pull the timing chain cover off, which I have a feeling is also rusted to that bolt because when aluminum and metal rust together, it, it doesn't really come off. Um, is that a good thing? Maybe, because it, maybe that means that I can get, get it out um, of the block. I don't know. But anyway, guys. I'm going to end this one off here because it seems like it's going to be a multi-parter. There's not much we can do about it. I uh, just got to keep on moving on, but I'm going to shut it down because I'm frustrated and I need to regroup and uh, see what else I can make happen with this thing. So thanks for coming along. Wish me luck. If you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see more of this colossal um, awesomeness, I should say, uh, please consider subscribing check out our uh, YouTube uh, which has like well over a hundred videos on it a bunch of different projects uh, check out our Facebook and our Instagram at the racer X garage and uh, I'm gonna go shower and shut her down until next time you know the deal y'all be good